Hello students and welcome you all to this video lecture series on chapter cams. In today's lecture we have to see the problem on construction of cam profile with a flat faced follower and simple harmonic motion. We have seen previous few problems in which knife edge follower and roller follower are there and this problem just differences that the flat faced follower with a simple harmonic motion is there. In just previous last question we have seen the roller follower with a simple harmonic motion how to draw the cam profile when simple harmonic motion is there that we have seen in that problem if you have not seen that problem please check that problem because same type of displacement diagram here also we need to draw now let us start with this problem with a flat face follower and simple harmonic motion so the question is a cam drives a flat reciprocating follower in a following manner so in every question you have to take care of that which type of follower is there and which type of motion it is following during outstroke and return stroke. So in only first sentence it is given that it is a flat face follower. So in this problem next given is during the first 120 degree rotation of the cam the follower moves outward through the distance of 50 mm. That means theta o that is during outstroke 120 degree that follower is moving 50 mm that means stroke of the follower is given equal to 50 mm so that we will write s is equal to 50 mm in given data and theta o is equal to 120 degree with the simple harmonic motion that means during outstroke that follower is moving with a simple harmonic motion that we understand from this sentence next sentence the follower dwells during the next 30 degree of the cam rotation that means first dwell is given that means during that dwell period we know that follower is not reciprocating or not moving at all that is for during that 30 degree that follower is at a dwell during the next 60 degree of the cam rotation the follower moves inward with a simple harmonic motion that means theta r is given as a 60 degree that is during return stroke it is also moving with a simple harmonic motion that means we understand that during the follower motions both outward as well as inward the follower is moving with a simple harmonic motion so this is the same case as that of our last problem we have seen in that problem also there is a roller follower and follower is moving with the simple harmonic motion during outstroke as well as return stroke next sentence here the follower dwells for the next 150 degree of cam rotation the follower second dwell is given during that no follower motion will occur that is 150 degree during that no follower motion that is it is dwell period next the minimum radius of the cam is a 25 mm that is a best circle radius always remember minimum radius of cam that means the best circle radius is given is equal to 25 mm draw the profile of cam so here in this problem given data we have written and firstly we will draw the displacement diagram for this problem so we know that in displacement diagram we have to firstly draw one rectangle having on x axis there is an angular displacement of the cam and on y axis there is a follower motion or lift of the cam or stroke of the follower lift of the follower or stroke of the follower so for that drawing the rectangle we must know the scale on x axis as well as y axis we will decide here scale according to the outstroke and return stroke here outstroke is for 120 degree and return stroke is for 60 degree therefore we need to divide this into equal parts in next step that's why this 120 degree we can take the scale equal to 1 centimeter is equal to 20 degree so that this 120 degree line will become 6 centimeter 6 cm line easily we can divide into 6 equal parts that is 1 cm each therefore we will take the scale on x axis 1 cm is equal to 20 degree so if you are having ample of space on the sheet you can take here scale 1 cm is equal to 10 degree also so that that 120 degree will become a 12 cm line isn't it on y axis we have taken the scale 1 cm is equal to 10 mm therefore a y distance on y axis will become a 50 mm that is 5 centimeter so we have drawn that rectangle second step is to divide the angular displacement during outstroke and return stroke into any equal number of even parts 
so let us consider in this problem we will divide this as distance and tp distance that is distances during the out stroke and return stroke into six equal parts and draw from this six equal parts a vertical lines so in that diagram you can observe that we have given the names capital a to capital s for the distance during out stroke capital s to capital t distance for first dwell capital t to capital p distance for return stroke capital p to capital x distance for the second dwell so during out stroke and return stroke that is as distance and tp distance we have to divide into six equal parts for each so here as distance we know that it is 6 cm 6 cm we have to divide into six equal parts that means each part will be having one centimeter distance therefore mark these one centimeter distance apart and give the name as one two three four five six draw the vertical lines parallel to ay through these points one two three four five six for outstroke also similarly that tp distance is we know that three centimeter with the help of scale this 3 cm is divided into 6 equal parts that means 0 0.5 cm each and give the name as 0 dash, 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash, 4 dash, 5 dash, 6 dash from these draw the vertical lines similarly parallel to AY so this is our second step in third step as the follower is moving with a simple harmonic motion therefore we need to draw one semicircle at one of the end with the diameter equal to ay and mark the center name as a c dash whatever name you can give there so here i have given name as a c dash with that diameter ay draw one semicircle in third step in next step divide that semicircle into six equal parts how to divide that semicircle means 180 degree angle so that 180 degree angle this is a 180 degree angle from this y you can divide this 180 degree total 180 degree angle into six equal parts that is 180 divided by six you will get 30 degree so from that y mark one line with 30 degree angle second 60 third 90 fourth again 120 then 150 and then 180 like that we have divided that semicircle into six equal parts in next step we have given these names to this after dividing into equal parts as a small a small b small c small d and small e from these small letters draw the horizontal lines which cuts these vertical lines to the points 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 0 dash 1 dash 2 dash 3 dash 4 dash 5 dash 6 dash these vertical lines will be cut by these horizontal lines at a point b c d e f g h j k l m n p remember these points these points are cut by the horizontal line and vertical line next step we have to join these points with the smooth curve and that smooth curve represents our displacement diagram for the follower so the curve here curve here starting from a a to G, G to H, H to P and again P to X will be our displacement diagram, will be our displacement diagram and that displacement diagram remember at suppose 120 degree rotation of the cam, 120 degree rotation of the cam, displacement of the follower is 50 mm, displacement of the follower 50 mm. Similarly, suppose the displacement of a cam angular displacement of cam is third half of this that means 60 degree for that displacement of the follower will be distance d to this horizontal line that is d to 3 so if you measure this d to 3 distance with the scale you will get the distance or displacement of the follower during this rotation of the cam similarly for outstroke sorry return stroke also this applies that means during this total angle of the follower sorry total angle of the cam if you measure this vertical distance from m to 4 dash this will be the displacement of follower for this total rotation of cam 
so this is the significance of this displacement diagram first step is to draw this displacement diagram next we have been asked to draw the cam profile when the axis of the follower is passing through the axis of cam shaft so our first step is to draw the base circle with the minimum radius or equal to minimum radius of the cam given in this problem equal to 25 mm with the center o so if you have drawn one base circle with the radius 25 mm and center as o on that we have to draw the cam profile when the axis of the follower is passing through the axis of cam shaft therefore we have drawn one axis for the follower which is exactly passing through the axis of cam shaft or axis of cam and add that wherever to this base circle that follower is touching that point we have given as a, a point name and that a point is called as a trace point we have known this we have studied in the nomenclature of cam chapter or point during that lecture we have seen what is the trace point a trace point is here wherever the follower is touching to the base circle or cam profile so here to that base circle that follow uh, is touching at a point this will be the trace point here so this is the first step to draw the base circle and a flat face follower touching at point a in second step we will mark the angles for outstroke return stroke and dwell given in the problem from oa line so you know this is oa line from that oa line first angle is given as a 120 degree for the outward stroke or outstroke why you are drawn this angle to left side because it is assume in the problem that this cam is rotating in clockwise direction that's why we will plot these angles towards or from the in anti clockwise direction therefore this aos angle we have drawn as 120 degree next dwell angle is given as 30 degree next for return stroke angle is given as 60 degree these angles we have marked from oa line this is our second step in next step we will divide this angular displacement during outstroke and return stroke into same equal number of even parts consider in displacement diagram we have divided it into six equal parts here also we will divide it into six equal parts therefore aos 120 degree angle is divided into six equal parts six equal parts how to divide that 120 divided by 6 you will get a 20 degree angle therefore o sorry ao1 will be 20 degree angle similarly 1o2 will be 20 degree angle so here you have to divide this 120 degree into this total angle 120 degree into 20 degree first point 20 degree second 20 degree third 20 degree 20 degree like that and then join these point with the center and a extended line beyond these points and give this points name as a 1 2 3 4 5 6 for the outstroke and 1 dash 2 dash 3 2 3 dash 4 dash 5 dash 6 dash for the return stroke these names we have to give next in fourth step set up the distances from the displacement diagram to this cam profile diagram in displacement diagram you know that the distance from p to 1 is the displacement of the follower during cam rotation a to 1 similarly c to 2 distance is the displacement of follower during the cam rotation a to 2 these displacements you have to take in the compass and you have to mark it on the these extended lines so on this o2 one extended line from this one point mark one to b distance similarly one to c by taking into compass distances from this displacement diagram mark this c point similarly d point from this 3 from this 4 to e from this 5 to f from this 6 to g like that mark all the points from this displacement diagram into cam profile diagram this is the fourth step in next step don't join immediately these whatever points you have got a b c d e f capital points don't join immediately that as in knife edge follower we have done immediately we have joined these points 
सेकेंडली वी हैव सीन रोलर फॉलोअर देर ऑल्सो वी हैव नॉट जॉइन इमिजिएटली वी हैव ड्रॉन द रोलर्स एट दीज पॉइंट्स एंड देन द बॉटम्स ऑफ दीज रोलर्स वी हैव जॉइन सो सिमिलरली हियर ऑल्सो एट दीज पॉइंट बी सी डी ई एफ वी हैव टू ड्रॉ वी हैव टू ड्रॉ द फ्लैट फेस फॉलोअर्स विद अप्रॉक्सीमेट डायमेंशंस सो हियर विद अप्रॉक्सीमेट डायमेंशंस विद इक्वल डायमेंशंस ऑल You have to draw the flat face follower at each point here, and after joining these, or after drawing these flat face followers, we can join these points B, C, D, E, F with the dotted line, and we can give that dotted line name as a pitch curve. But we are not drawing here to avoid the complications. We will just draw the cam profile, whatever our required aim is there. so if you join these points a b c d e f capital that will become a pitch curve it will not be our cam profile so just draw the just draw the flat face follower at these points in next step and in next step from the bottom of all these flat face followers draw a smooth curve and that smooth curve starting from a to going through all bottoms to g point from g to h from h to p and from p to a this total will be, will become our cam profile which is required which is asked in this problem this is our cam profile diagram so this is the problem uh, thank you all for watching this video and if you are new to this channel please subscribe this channel shri tech education and if you have not seen the previous videos go to the playlist of this channel in that you will get a theory of machine playlist plastic engineering playlist and aptitude playlist you can go into the theory of machine playlist and you can check all the videos regarding the camp so thank you for watching thanks